Welcome to the Blitz Show brought to you by Covers, where Derek Hardy and his Blitz projections look to pick off the best plus EV plays of every primetime game. Third primetime game of week eight here, Derek. Sunday night football, big one, Buffalo, Cincinnati. Cincinnati, two and a half point home favorite. Total sitting at a week nine high of 50 and a half. We got leans, we got plays, but this game specifically, we got a trio of plays and I am digging Irv Smith in this play. I really like this one. The, 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 the plus 172 is insane. Irv Smith over two and a half receptions plus 172 from Caesars at the time of recording Saturday. Let's call it four o'clock Eastern time. This is a play. 71.4% route share last week, four catches, four targets. Just on that alone, if that carries over to something to on Sunday night, that's making plus 172 look pretty good. Add on the Bills are still without their best coverage linebacker and Matt Milano. Uh, there's a lot to like about Irv Smith, who no one's really talking about. Yeah, they're they're saying that you know Burrow is is fully healthy now, whatever, whatever that exactly means, but Irv Smith is out there running the routes. He's he's running them about 70% of the time. He got a 12 and a half target share last week. Uh, the blitz is projecting about 2.6 here for him. Uh, projects to win 49% of the time, but at plus 172, that's really, really good. So we'll, we'll take that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if you can get him running routes, it's just a matter of time before the targets are there. You want routes. That's the more important thing. Uh, target share is important, but if you're not running high route shares, it's not worth it. But two and a half plus 172, that is a silly number. Uh, might even see that move down to like, if you can see that at one and a half minus 200, that would probably, I know it's juicy, but probably something to look at as well. Continuing on this trend, this is an awesome one. If you look at his prior prop numbers, Joe Burrow under 15 and a half rushing yards minus 125. That's at bet 365, the time recording. Also a play. Derek Cardi, this number was five and a half last game. He runs for 43 yards and it's balloon three X. That doesn't make any sense to me. His priors before that game, four yards, seven yards, one yard, minus two yards, five yards and minus one yard. This is dumb. It makes no sense. Like he hasn't been involved in the run game basically at all this year. He's gotten 1% of the designed runs on the season I'm not going to overreact to one week. Most books open this at 16 and a half. A lot of them are down now to 12 and a half. I think there's a 10 and a half out there. Uh, so the one that, that we still have hanging on at 15 and a half, I will take the under here easily because like Joe Burrow's not this guy. No. And when you're at the, at the 15 and a half number here, the yardage, you're talking like two good scrambles. Like you can get away with the 11 and a half running for first down or, or something here, but 15 is probably, you're probably going to need two good scrambles. And yeah. uh, for Joe Burrow, like you said, who's getting more comfortable in pocket, becoming a better passer, more healthy, as they say, uh, he's just not taking off. So don't overreact to 43 yards last week when this number was five and a half the week before that, that one really gets me. Uh, and Joe Mixon, here we go. I love fading Joe. I don't think he's anything special. He's not a very good runner and his role in the passing game uh, is is kind of going the same is going the opposite direction of what Irv Smith is doing. Joe Mixon under three and a half receptions, minus one fifteen at bet three six five. This is a play high confidence. Just three targets last game. Tough to get four catches with only three targets. Was limited Wednesday. Back to practice Thursday and Friday in full. But this is a guy who hasn't seen more than four targets in five straight games. Uh, again, this should probably be two and a half. It should. I mean, three and a half is a big number for a running back. There are very few running backs that can consistently get four catches per game. And Joe Mixon is not one of them. He's out there for a lot of snaps. He's running a lot of routes, but he's just not getting all that many targets. Uh, and we're, we're getting this at, you know, a really reasonable price of minus 115. It's not like this is a three and a half, you know, minus 180 or something like this is three and a half kind of close enough to even money where, uh, this just seems kind of silly. All right. So Sunday night football, big one, Cincinnati, Buffalo, highest total on the board. But we got three plays on the Cincinnati side. Irv Smith, over two and a half receptions, plus 172. Those are like anytime touchdown odds right there. Joe Burrow, <laughs> under 15 and a half rushing yards, minus 125. Did you have a quick projection on that just in case that 15 and a half isn't there? 
on Burrow. Yeah, let me get a let me get that number back real quick. Okay, that's okay. Is, and then, yep, yeah, uh, eleven. Eleven. Okay, so uh, even even if that gets to twelve, I know the difference between eleven and twelve doesn't sound like a lot, but it it really is when you're looking at yeah. small numbers like this. And then Joe Mixon under three and a half receptions, minus one fifteen. Uh, loading up on some fades, some goes with the Cincinnati offense, but that's what we're doing for Sunday night here on the Blitz. We'll be back for more Monday night football. I believe it's Chargers at Jets. That will do it for us here Sunday night football. I'm Josh Ingles. He's Derek Cardi. This is the Blitz Show brought to you by Covers. See you for Monday night football.